It's throwback week here at footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our NFL Week 8 preview between the New Orleans Saints and the Denver Broncos. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with New Orleans. When I look at Drew Brees and his offense for the New Orleans Saints, I look at the protection. You got to keep him upright in order for him to complete passes downfield. So that's going to fall on the shoulders of Zach Streep and Jamon Bushrod against these two outstanding edge rushers in Elvis Dumerville and Von Miller. If those tackles can keep the pocket clean for Drew Brees, he can do a great job in completing passes downfield. But let's go inside the lab and look at that Saints defense and how they can match up versus that Broncos up-tempo offense. The Saints defense has a huge task going against the Denver Broncos in that no huddle passing attack with Peyton Manning. And I think they could match up greatly versus the Denver Broncos passing attack if they utilize a cover two matchup zone. And we have two types of routes that are run against the matchup zone, or two types of routes that the Broncos love to run. And I'm gonna show you how the Saints can match up versus that. And it's all about alignment. And we talk about it a lot. You gotta stay on the inside of the wide receivers. That gives you the better route. It forces Peyton Manning to be accurate consistently. You can see right here, let's say they run all verticals with the back running a dart route out of the backfield. You see where the corners and your linebackers are aligned. Let's say these are two tight ends and like they utilize two tight end sets a lot and they flank them out so you can keep your base personnel and your backers and on the inside everyone is lined up on the inside forcing Peyton Manning to stay accurate consistently that way you allow yourself better protection against that cover too the backer drops in his own and see somebody threaten his area so he's going to fly up and take this running back coming out of the back hill now let's say the, the Broncos want to get creative and create to clear out routes and bring crossers underneath of it. You see right here how you can match up. The corner is going to ride this outside route until he sees this guy break in. Then he's going to continue to carry on the seam route. Same rules apply on this side. Carry, the, carry this route until you see this guy breaking in and then now you're taking over the seam and you have your free safety help there, your strong safety help right there, and your backers are working depth on this seam until they notice the breaking routes then they drop off and go underneath they're going to ride underneath that crossing route thus putting you in a better situation and better uh position to make a play on the ball and that's all it has to be done versus a passing attack like the denver broncos so if the saints utilize a cover two matchup zone i think they can be successful now let's move over to the Broncos in this matchup. You look at that offense, and they do a great job of controlling tempo and dictating pace, and I think they could do so versus the Saints defense. They can widen out go of four and five wide receiver sets and utilize both tight ends, Jacob Tammy and also Joel Dreesen. Those two opportunities they have down the scenes with those two tight ends can work wonders for that passing attack. And also on the outside, they do have the height advantage on these Saints corners. But let's go inside the lab and look at the Broncos defense and how they can actually get pressure on Drew Brees and that Saints offense. It's imperative for the Broncos defense to get the football back for Peyton Manning. And on third down, they have to get pressure on Drew Brees. And we see how they can match up versus three wide receivers and two backs that the New Orleans Saints love to run on third down. If they're going to get in this type of coverage, uh, sorry, type of formation on offense, the Broncos can attack it with this coverage. You have Champ Bailey on the widest side of the field. Take him away. Both guys are tight on the line of scrimmage pressing those wide receivers. Safety is going to drop back in the middle of the field. And here's where the action is. We're going to have this three technique shoot this gap right there, try to get this guy to block him, thus creating a hole for that defensive end to slice across the tackle's face because we're going to blitz this nickel backer here and the strong safety will be man up on the slot and the two backers have the two backs just in case one release. If, one, if this guy doesn't release, he's going to ride this route right here by the tight end so that way you have yourself protected in case that tight end releases late but that's how they can effectively get pressure on drew Brees, force a quick throw make a tackle and get off the field on third down I think Jonathan Vilma's ability to play in pass coverage does the Saints defense a great job because that way they can keep a guy that's heady, smart, and can make plays on the ball on the field. And look at the Broncos receiver's height advantage over the Saints corners. Plus, the Saints corners do not turn around and look for the football. Could be a lot of opportunities right there for Denver. Let's look at the personnel breakdown in this matchup. And you see the Saints have a check mark by linebackers. I like what I saw last week from Jonathan Vilma coming off of the suspension. Makes that unit that much stronger. Broncos don't have the running back that could threaten the Saints on the outside. 
I like the Saints in this matchup. Look for New Orleans to lean more on the ground game. So you're going to see a lot more Mark Ingram, a lot more Pierre Thomas, and Darren Sproles out of the backfield with the football in their hands. And it also alleviates a lot of pressure off those offensive tackles. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Saints fan forums and Bronco fan forums for always showing football game plan support.